he's kind of just talking about this situation. Um, Takashi six nine legal team just dropped a statement, mm-hmm. pretty much saying they're denying any um, allegation that he's going to be snitching. Right. Now, um, so um, contrary to what people are saying, what people believe, his uh, attorney did give a statement saying um, six nine is not giving the state evidence, and the transfer to the new facility was simply made because of threats that he got, I guess, on his life and whatnot. Saying, man, what do you think? about that do you think six nine is going to snitch later or just you know what do you think about his lawyer putting that out there right now to the fan i believe it and i'm not going to speculate on what this kid's going to do or not do i said what he should do or what Mm -hmm. i think he's going to do just based off of loyalty and there is no real loyalty in this involved somebody's going to tell on somebody so who's going to tell first if this is a race you want to win the fucking race right right so that that's just based off of the speculation i go on but the fact that he did plead not guilty and he's willing to go to trial for his life does sit on the fact that maybe he didn't tell on somebody because we both agree right. that he's going to do some kind of jail time. He's going to do some type of jail time. And it mean? might be so, a situation, you know, where his lawyers think they can get him out of this. Right. You know what I mean? They, they feel like they got a, um, you know, shot. And um, even though, you know, we talk about percentages and, you know, the 90, this, that there is that small percentage of you know in a lot of people always point to the ti situation they say well man he was facing 30 years mm-hmm. you know and he got out on um, with the year you know what i mean year, a year in a day oh, i'm God, just saying a year, a year in a day oh, people it's no paperwork on ti yeah, there's yeah. no paperwork you know what i mean on them but um people always throw that out there and say you know um how did ti get out of that situation he had money yeah he had damn good lawyers you know what i mean he had fame popularity and everything behind him this that's this kid definitely has it his music is only going, to, only going to get better, excuse me, um, and only get more popular as we're still speaking about him days after it. As soon as, you know, he goes to trial to be another big thing. And then, you know, more and more, every time something happens, he can slip and fall, slip on a banana peel, take a fart, take a shit. Six nine to the six nine to that. But this is one, you know, um, I think is um good, you know, to put out there and um, speak on this one because a lot of people thinking that, you know, is going, you know, um, that way. You know, especially for that transfer when TMZ, I think, put that out there. That kind of was like the nail in the coffin. Well, they painted it that way. And yeah, that's a real yeah. dangerous platform because they like paint narrative. They <laughs> yeah. drop that about him, about he's transferring jails for snitches and this and they have to put that like that. But they did. And then you got the oh, he he put a hit out on this dude and they got the two minutes worth of covers that somebody dropped to them. It's like, yo. They're doing whatever they can to make sure this kid goes to jail because they know if he goes to jail for Mm -hmm. life, that's going to be one of the top headlines they ever get. It's real cynical how they move shit. I got to ask you this, though, about the you talked about this earlier, social media now. It's never been anything like this before. Remember, like, the OJ thing? Yeah. Imagine we had social media then. Man. How it would have been. It's like we had to wait for the news. Now it's like everything is just playing out, you know, on social media. Do you think that the judges... You know, are being swayed by what goes on with social media and in the drawers too. That's going to be, you know, trying the case and stuff. We know the power in it. Yeah. And if it's if if you got a Facebook, if you got a Twitter, no matter if you're a judge, no matter if you're a juror, you know what I mean, sitting in the case or presiding over the case, and you happen to go home and check your Facebook mm-hmm. and you see something, how can't something via TMZ? stare you you're a human being mm-hmm. it's the power we got nowadays you're absolutely correct in that so it's it's 100 percent accurate to sit here and go maybe because we know it's not 100 percent all objectivity when it comes to courtrooms we know if the dude is cool with the lawyer or this or that and we all know that the jurors have lives so if they mm-hmm. see this going on like you said in the oj situation all we got was the reporting from the courtroom there wasn't anybody on here mm-hmm. there weren't reports like this and this is why we got to be careful on these platforms and how yeah. we stare a narrative you yeah. gotta be fucking objective right because you go and do thousands of hundred thousands of views and your narrative is stared this way or that way based off of your fucking biased opinion right you may be staring a juror that be watching you sitting here going yeah you know what he's right she's right and this is what i'm thinking you know what I mean? they're going in closing you know because I, I gotta actually remind you gotta go too you know what i mean in closing um with the six nine situation i think what his team is trying to do is kind of paint him and this may even work with different drawers you might get some drawers that six nine fans that might be sitting up in there, you know, and, know. They, and they might be, they might try to stare like, you know, he was just influenced by these goons, these thugs around him. He's just nice entertainer kid, you know, um, let give him another chance. You know, he didn't do another thing. There's no evidence of him doing any other thing. It was just entertainment. I don't not say it's going to work, nah, but this but, is the, this is their job to paint that picture. Yeah. At I mean, this point. and if you look at it, if he wasn't involved and it was just, somebody that was just painting a picture and portraying this image then it would make sense for him not to snitch on people that he doesn't know 
how can I snitch on A, B, or C if I don't know what they're doing? I'm not involved. I don't do this shit. I'm just sitting here on camera with the thing on jumping around like they told me to. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's doing shit behind the scenes. They told they put the camera on and told me to say this about this dude. He even knew I was gonna say it. Right. I'm just a rapper. I'm just a rapper. Right. Good angle. You never know. Good angle, you never know. And you know, he has some pretty um high powered attorneys, if you say so. One of his attorneys was accused, you know. Um, she was acquitted, you know, of sneaking in pills, a turkey sandwich, and some contraband, you know, to one of her um clients back in the day. But she a was acquitted. Sandwich and some pills. That's, that's that's that was the article Vlad TV dropped earlier. Shout yeah. out to Vlad for always dropping the inside scoops on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah man. but um he was back in court today. Takash 69 was back in court and he was um did plead not guilty. To the federal uh racketeering drugs and gun case that he's you know um being a uh, tried with today he was in court today um no bail still you know but um he was given a trial date um accordingly to the article september 4th his trial will begin um 2019 and um yeah yeah not looking good for him um also we're going to report and talk about that he has a new lawyer we're going to talk about you know her and what she was accused of you know, but first, Sam, man, what do you think um, about 6 9 um, pleading not guilty? Do you think he's ready to go ahead and um, start telling? It looks like it. I mean, if he's going to trial with, with his life on the line mm-hmm. and he ain't copping no plea early, then it looks like he may be confident in being able to beat this. Mm-hmm. And if he's confident in being able to beat this, he must have been talking to people. Now, before mm-hmm. people start going in, right. on me saying that because there's a lot going on and there's a lot of hypocrisy going on in this situation. And let's just keep it 100 because everyone thirsted for this kid to do more and more and more. And now we're hearing that, oh, it was the media that, that did him wrong. It was the people that did him wrong. No, it was everybody that did him wrong because the more we thirsted for it, the, the worse and hungrier he got for the attention. But that is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. That is what it is. He is in a situation right now where if he don't tell he's dying in jail so what would you do in that situation what would you do out there in that situation it's a situation well, where there is no loyalty involved right the, the more news comes out involving the crew that he ran with the more you realize there was absolutely no loyalty involved mm-hmm. the whole story on tmz came out where he's on camera basically incriminating himself and whether or not you feel like that was a publicity stunt whether that was him being real the fact that a matter remains that he looked like he was making a boss move on top of all the shit that he has going on right now it doesn't look good mm-hmm. and it's on camera mm-hmm. so absolutely but all of that stuff mixed up this dude ain't really about that life and you can't blame him for telling i I look i don't know but that being Mm -hmm. said i want to hear your perspective before we go further i mean it's just like you know um it's crazy i think the situation um i don't know if he's going to start telling or whatever but again you know um he portrayed you know um this street person this dude who ran with goons and if you did anything if you touch me it was going to be problem this is what he portrayed whether it was real or not he's backtracking this is what he portrayed this is what they're going to try him for what he said you can't just do all this stuff, you know, and, and be wrapped up in all this stuff and say you was playing around. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is with them. Um, Lisa Evers did drop a clip. She was at the courthouse today and she um spoke with his new counsel. And I didn't even really even notice, but they're pretty much saying that um six nine said he didn't even meet a trade away before 2017. So I'm gonna play this clip, you know, real quick that Lisa Evers put out today uh, of his new lawyers. And then we're gonna talk about this part. This is an interesting uh spin here as well. that these people, us brothers, myself, oh God, Darren, Kansu, have lived this journey, have been through these experiences, have been through these trials, have learned and have gained success through the formula that we want and wish to provide for you.